You just can't come from London and end up somewhere in Uganda and say, I'm now president. The issue of whether Lula wants to be president, Benaisa wants to be president, Museven wants to be president, who else? Zemogere wants to be president, must rest with the people of Uganda. But if they don't want your vote, if they don't want to approach you, why should you accept them? The president of Uganda's role is written in the constitution of Uganda. The NRA fought its way into Kampala and the military junta a flag. A new leader was sworn in as president. Nobody should think that what is happening today, or what has, ha what has been happening in the last few days, is a mere change of guards. This is not a mere change of guards. I think this is a fundamental change in the politics of our country. In the NRA, he is uh, credited for opening the second front in the West on his own. Mubibuze Bibuka, Murion Hambara, Nukoya Tangi, Ugamba, Kumuranga, Uganda, and Mr. Zia Zarwin Good. So, a lot can be said about Fred. But, uh, my only wish, which I want to pass on to you, is that I really wish that what he died for would be achieved. Harijoshi Nagavu the Kuru Sedi, Hariko Isena Vuganuko, Kwese Ufuti Hano Tfa Haranira, Icho Yasi. Let us not be hypocritical, let us not pretend here that we are crying, when actually we are not even thinking about what he died for. So, a lot can be said about Fred, but uh, my only wish, which I want to pass on to you, is that I really wish that what he died for would be achieved. Harijoshi Nagavu the Kuru Sedi, Hariko Ise Navuga Nuko, Kwese Ufuti Hano Tfa Haranira, Icho Yasi. Let us not be hypocritical, let us not pretend here that we are crying when after we are not even thinking about what we died for. we had sung for the army but they didn't use then there is another one from the cry the cry from the valley they are very good three songs so you can't listen to them now let's go let's proceed so the chief of defense forces general mk uh, chief of the air force Chief of the Reserve, Commander Special Forces, and all other chiefs. You know, my, my head these days is where is creation, where is creation, where is creation, so I forget. But today, it's a very interesting day for me 
because finally my friend my friend MK has become he he has the same rank with me now <laughs> that one has been biting him all the time but now you have it so how does it feel I don't know <laughs> <laughs> number two I want to appreciate his service to the military for more than 20 years. But more specifically, in, in areas where he defeated me. He defeated me in one area. I don't know where is Kidega. Is Kidega around? Kidega. You remember when Mzee almost took us to jail for for misdeploying the Heribon in Guru. Ona kumbuka? Na changungu yuko wapi? Ah, so the story goes like this. Sit down. For me, I'm a guerrilla commander who has fought the, all those small, small guerrilla warfare whatever the attacks, ambushes, surprise attacks, long marches and attacks, you know, those infantry work. Then, 97, the commanding chief tells me that he wants to form a heli bone. You know, a heli bone, a heli bone unit. So in my head, I told him, Muse, but my head is not catching up. What do you mean, Heribon? He said, people who can go ahead of the enemy and... And in my head, I could not see. In my head, I couldn't sincerely understand how to, to conceptualize that. So he trains his 115 soldiers there at Guru Airfield, uh, ready for deployment, and it was his unit, supposedly his unit. So, when he had gone to Kampala, there was a chance for me to watch Pike Lack Hills on top. So, for me, I thought Heribon was to carry these soldiers and put them on top of Clark Hills and leave them there. So, when Mzee came back, he said, my friend, where is my unit? I said, I have deployed it. It is at corner Clark. No, no, Clark Hills. You remember in one of, of his high command documents, he said he will never forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> that he will never forgive me for not deploying the, not misdeploying his unit, the, the hairy bone. So after that, then that's when MK came in and, and conceptualized the uh, Special Forces Command the Special Forces Command, that training, that one of combined arms, which all of you now know, but for us in our generation, really for us who were on the Nyayo, Kufata Nyayo Pekeyaka, our occasional, occasional conventional actions. So MK, Really, you have put in a lot for that, that type of, of work. Special forces, combined arms. Yesterday, I saw people. I was on TV. I saw people, they are glad skydiving. My heart almost went, went out completely. I waited for the paratroop. That man to, to go into a house, fortunately, he maneuvered and landed. So, MK, we shall always remain... Uh, Remember you for that contribution of that specialized training which you and your colleagues did after us. <laughs> the second one is the, the nexus, the nexus between security and development, which I beg the army to understand. I have also been talking to him, but he was not really for me. He's, he's now in, the, he was in that special forces thing. But really, the, if we don't combine the two, 
security and the development, you may not progress because it is the, the other side. And I want to encourage the CDF to have a conversation with those guys because those guys are, are also generals in their own rights. So I don't know the most senior general there. You have seen Pamela, she's the, one of the most senior generals. It's only because she didn't have time. She would clearly show you between, the relationship between security and development. Um, <clears throat> we, had, we had made several presentations. I didn't know which one to present, mine or the one of UPDF. Because you know these disciplined forces, you have to be very careful with the way you present yourself. So we had made a, a, a presentation, but I think it has been overtaken by events. Because now all of you are in the one room together and you are going to have lunch together. So General MK, Hongera, and, uh, but you didn't defeat my age. You remember for me, I became a foster when I was 46. And I think you have become a foster when you are 48. So you are two years a bit late. <laughs> so, um, uh, Apollo Muhanga, the Commander Land Forces, I think you know what to do. From what you have said, I believe you know what needs to be done in order to carry forward what General MK has been doing. To the UPDF, maintain discipline. Maintain discipline and maintain your ideological clarity. Because some of us, are, uh, um, as you can see, are getting very old. And uh, the simplest story which I can refer you to these days is uh, when you turn 60, like yesterday Uganda turned 60. Now, when you turn 60, you start evaluating what you want to do next in life. So yesterday I was thinking Uganda is too old, is old enough to look after itself. But for me at 60, which was two years ago, I made a very serious blunder. I thought I had matured, I had known everything. So I wrote a missive, you know what they call a missive, to the command in chief. Because I thought I had turned 60, I had got through all the, all the troubles of life, now I was a stable man. So I sent him that brief. In that brief, I was trying to be a PowerPoint like expert. So I, ch I, ch I showed him the, that was 2020. Where is it? Ashaba, what's wrong? Are they inside this room or they are like in...